62 miles per hour. That's the top speed of the fastest electric scooter that I've tested. And so, as you may have guessed, I'm gonna be sharing the results of my hands-on test of the nine best electric scooters for riders that want to go fast. Now, a fast scooter means different things to different people. So, to address all of these needs, I've split the scooters into three categories. The first category is for scooters that can reach between 30 and 40 miles per hour. The second category is for models that go between 40 and 50 miles per hour and the third and final category is for those that exceed speeds of 50 miles per hour and in each category I've selected three scooters and these include a cheap mid-range and premium option to help you find a scooter that not only meets your need for speed but also your budget while testing the scooters I paid special attention to motor size and voltage nominal and peak power top speed and acceleration the performance of the controllers brakes and tires and the ability to control and maneuver the scooters at speed. Now I like to give upfront conclusions so if you want to go fast on a budget and by fast I mean 37 miles per hour then the Splatch Titan is my top pick. If you want to experience higher top speeds of 43 miles per hour and adrenaline inducing acceleration rates then the Mantis King GT will be a great option for you or if you want to push the boundaries of electric scooter performance and feel like you've been strapped to the back of a Formula One car then the Wolf King GT is your way into the high octane world of ultra performance scooters. So if that's all you wanted from the video then thanks for watching but now I'm going to go over each model one at a time where I'm going to share their pros and cons cons as well as the results from my test so that you can make a more informed decision about which model is right for you. Having built its reputation with the hugely popular twin, Splatch is now leaving jaws on the floor with the new Titan. It's a missile of a scooter armed with dual 52 volt 1000 watt motors which produce a peak power output of 2600 watts. It can hit a top speed of 37 miles per hour without blinking. Like a cheetah blazing across the Serengeti, the Titan zooms from 0 to 15 miles per hour in a fizzing 2.5 seconds and reaches 25 miles per hour in 4.9 seconds. It's savagely fast and it gets faster once in motion too. Featuring a reinforced stem, handlebars that are among the widest I've tested and ergonomic controls, the Titan exudes stability even at top speeds. And the extremely well calibrated suspension makes it a dream to ride no matter the terrain. The extremely thick knobbly tyres also do a great job of maintaining traction. I tested the 9 inch variants which are fantastic for riding at speed on the straights but they can feel a little hairy if you're taking on sharp corners at pace. The good news though is that you can buy the 10 inch model which feels just as stable on the straights as it does in the corners. And if you do need to stop suddenly, the front and rear disc brakes bring you to a complete standstill from 15 miles per hour in just 2.4 meters. Priced at a mere $1,199 or $1,139 if you use my exclusive link here or in the description, the Splash Titan delivers all the grandeur of an elite $2,000 performance scooter at the cost of an entry level model. The simple fact is that no other scooter within the Titan's price range gets anywhere near to its speed and power. It's in a league of its own, delivering pound for pound power that's deserving of its name. Having asked for feedback on the Ghost 2021, Apollo set to work addressing all of its imperfections to produce an upgraded version that's altogether more powerful and robust than its predecessor. Now wielding dual 52 volt 1000 watt motors, the Ghost delivers a peak power output of 2600 watts and a top speed of 37 miles per hour, trumping its older 2021 sibling by 3 miles per hour. With its excellent controllers in turn, 
so the new goes can shift smoothly from zero to 15 miles per hour in an impressive 2.5 seconds and reach 25 miles per hour in just 5.3 seconds. Interestingly, this performance outdoes its more expensive cousin, the Phantom, by 0.3 seconds, but the Phantom does have a trick up its sleeve, which I'll get to later. Now, with this being an Apollo scooter, you can also bet your bottom dollar on the Ghost being a case study in best-in-class build quality. From its stem, which is now 50% stronger to eliminate wobble at speed, and to the flared hand grips that, in my opinion, are the best around, the Ghost is designed with control and maneuverability in mind. Furnished with a spacious deck, plush 10-inch tyres that ensure good handling, and a pair of formidable brakes that allow you to stop on a dime, this is a performance scooter that's been designed from top to bottom with thrills at its heart. Not to be outdone by its stable mate, the Apollo Phantom enters the arena flanked by dual 52 volt 1200 watt motors and silky smooth controllers. Together, these jet thrusters can summon a peak power output of 3200 watts. This translates into a top speed of 38 miles per hour and a rapid acceleration rate of 0 to 15 miles per hour in 2.5 seconds, which is about as long as a Formula One pit stop. You see, there's no hiding from this spectral beauty. It's a purebred racehorse. Good job then that the Phantom's design is precision engineered to channel its power. The handlebars, all 27 inches of them, maximize balance and control, while the thumb throttle is a textbook example of ergonomic excellence. The stem is double reinforced to eliminate any chance of wobble at high speeds too. Elsewhere, the 10 inch tires are among some of the best that I've tested. They have a slightly deeper texture than what you'd usually find and boast a heavily patterned tread that ensures optimal traction. No corners are cut when it comes to safety either. Coming with either regular or nut hydraulic disc brakes, you come to a complete stop from 50 miles per hour in an admirable 3 to 3.4 meters. You even have the option to improve its performance using Apollo's upgrade kits. In the latest instalment, a new controller boosts the top speed to 40 miles per hour, gives you control over your acceleration strength via app connectivity, and adds regenerative braking capabilities. Let's ramp things up a notch now with the Mantis V2, a scooter that takes speeds of up to 40 miles per hour in its stride. This is thanks to its dual 60 volt 1000 watt motors, which unleash a peak power of 3000 watts to lead the likes of the Splash Titan, Apollo Ghost, and Phantom trailing. The V2's ferocity is perhaps best exemplified by its acceleration rate. Armed with 25 amp sine wave controllers, it zooms from zero to 15 miles per hour in a vicious 2.1 seconds and hits 25 miles per hour in just 4.7 seconds. It's worth highlighting the $1,899 price tag at this point, bringing all the prize trappings of a high spec scooter into a price category that is used to taking things slower. The Mantis is a challenge to its competitors that isn't easy to meet. And it's not just power where this bottled burst of lightning excels thanks to the wide handlebars, a sprawling deck that's adorned in an anti-slip rubber and a reinforced kick plate, riders of up to 265 pounds can lean into the ride for optimal balance and stability. The dual hydraulic disc brakes facilitate high levels of control too, ensuring that you come to a sharp and responsive stop whenever you need. Plus the spring suspension interlinks with the juicy 10 inch pneumatic tires to absorb shocks and vibrations, making it adept on most terrain. To sum up, the Mantis V2 strikes an admirable balance between style, performance and price. As a gateway into super fast electric scooters is a real upgrade from the models that came before it on this list. While the Mantis V2 is a fine specimen, there's only one king within the Mantis stable when it comes to power, and that's the Mantis King GT. 
Let's consider its specs. Dual 60 volt, 1100 watt motors, 30 amp sine wave controllers, a peak power output of 4200 watts, an acceleration rate of 0 to 15 miles per hour in 1.9 seconds, and 25 miles per hour in 4 seconds flat. Combined, this power amounts to a cheek flapping top speed of 43 miles per hour. This is quite comfortably the fastest a Mantis scooter has ever gone. With the entire frame guaranteeing balance and stability and lavish hybrid tires nuzzling into the ground you never feel out of control plus with a dual hydraulic suspension system that you can easily adjust the mantis king gt delivers a ride that completely engulfs bumps and vibrations meaning you can ride fast across unpredictable off-road terrain as well as burn rubber in the city streets the sense of security you feel when riding this tame tiger is really reinforced by the Zoom hydraulic brakes which deliver the best stopping distance of any Mantis and for that matter any Kaboo scooter at 2.1 meters from 50 miles per hour. Priced at $2,495, the Mantis King GT costs just $200 more than the Mantis V2 24.5 amp version, despite brandishing a spec sheet that's bigger and better in every way. If it's bang for your buck hereafter, this Regal Rocket is the one for you. The Nami Bernie 2 is stuff of legend. It's the only electric scooter in my entire 140 plus model database that has scored a perfect 10 out of 10 for overall performance so you can be sure of it delivering the speed that you crave. While most performance scooters wield motors that are either 52 volts or 60 volts, the Nami Bernie 2 isn't like most scooters. Instead, it sports an industry first dual 72 volt 1000 watt motors. These Goliaths produce a monumental peak power output of 5040 watts and a top speed of 45 miles per hour but it's the blistering acceleration rate that'll leave adrenaline seekers flawed. Equipped with superb 30 amp sine wave controllers that allow you to control each motor independently via the display, this frighteningly fast scooter can hit 50 miles per hour in 1.8 seconds and reach 25 miles per hour in an even more staggering 3.2 seconds. This isn't the only area of its performance that will leave your jaw on the floor though. The star of the show is the adjustable hydraulic coilover shock suspension system that has taken the laws of rebounding and compression to deliver an astonishing level of ride quality. The suspension system dovetails beautifully with the best in class 11 inch PMT tires to ensure exquisite grip and control. You'll need to order these variations separately, but if that sounds like too much hassle, then the standard nylon tires that come as stock are still impressive. Add the ergonomic controls, menacing tank-like frame, and absolutely huge deck into the mix, and you have a scooter that is a masterclass in stability and handling for riders of all sizes. To cap things off, you have two piston hydraulic disc brakes that bring you to a complete stop from 15 miles per hour in just 1.8 eight meters. This is the best stopping distance of any scooter that I've tested. At $3,399, the Nami Bernie 2 isn't cheap, but it's no exaggeration to say that it excels in every area of its design. Huge, hungry, and viciously powerful, the Wolf King GT is perfect for those seeking an ultra performance scooter. Deservedly anointed the best fast electric scooter of the year by thousands in the electric scooter insider community, the GT's power is quite simply awe inspiring. Its dual 72 volt, 2000 watt motors unleash a peak power output of 8000. 400 watts and a ridiculous top speed of 62 miles per hour. Predictably, there's no let up when we switch our focus to accelerative strength. The 50 amp sine wave controllers work their magic here to hit 15 miles per hour in an unreal 1.7 seconds, 25 miles per hour in just three seconds, and 40 miles per hour in a hair raising 
eight seconds. Now, riding at speeds this fast can, in some cases, elicit wobble, something I know all too well about. However, the iconic dual stem design makes a huge difference in maintaining stability at high speeds, and with the King GT, there's zero wobble. Likewise, the humongous 11-inch tires are manna from heaven when it comes to maintaining traction. In fact, everywhere you look, it's designed for maximum enjoyment at high high speeds. The thumb throttle facilitates a smooth flow of power, while the ultra-wide handlebars, lock steering and 12 riding modes guarantee excellent handling. And when it comes to stopping, you can put your faith in the hydraulic brakes. And you can even enable the anti-lock braking system, which works by rapidly increasing and reducing braking pressure multiple times per second to stop the wheels from locking up and skidding. Ultimately, if it's high octane thrills that you seek, then the Wolf King GT delivers a punch of power that will leave you gasping for air. And as for its price, well, at $3,595, it's significantly cheaper than the likes of the Dualtron Thunder 2 and the Nami Bernie 2 Max that achieve similar top speeds. When it comes to peak power, the 10,080 watts of unfettered ferocity that the Thunder 2 produces is unmatched. Dualtron is a brand that's obsessed with pushing the boundaries of ultra-performance scooters, and this model lives up to its mantra. Its dual 72-volt, 2,700-watt motors are monolithic, while a top speed of 62 miles per hour will leave all but the most experienced riders cowering. It's no slouch in getting there either. You can expect to hit 15 miles per hour in a whiplashing 2 seconds and 25 miles per hour in 3.5 seconds. The Thunder 2 does have a few flaws when it comes to its design though. Its handlebars are a little too narrow and short for my liking, which does weaken your sense of control, especially if you're tall. Another issue is the unlimited turning motion of the front wheel. I prefer the steering to be locked to a certain degree of rotation since it gives me, at least, more confidence while riding. The erratic throttle response can catch you off guard as well, while it also makes maintaining a constant speed a real challenge. It's like turning a light switch on and off, while other models in this list, like the Wolf King GT and both Nami Bernie models, are akin to rolling a light on and off with a dimmer dial. But on the bright side, for riders that love an instant hit of power, the Thunder 2 is ideal. And I can't end this review without remarking on what is the biggest battery I've ever tested. The 72 volt 40 amp hour battery stores an outrageous 2880 watt hours of energy to deliver a ridiculous maximum range of 106 miles. Let us be real however, no body needs such a ginormous mileage and under realistic conditions you can expect around 60 miles. The self healing tires are also a real success. Not only are they low maintenance but they have a huge profile that's great for maintaining traction when accelerating and braking. Quite honestly, the Thunder 2 delivers more power than anyone could need, but that's what makes it such a remarkable scooter. It will appeal to a small slither of extreme riders as well as Dualtron enthusiasts, but there's no denying that it's lacking in many areas when it comes to design and ride quality. And so for that reason, the Wolf King GT and Nami Bernie 2 Max both top it. Quite simply, the Bernie 2 Max, like the Wolf King GT, is the most explosive scooter I've tested. Its acceleration rate is unrivaled, its top speed is utterly blistering, and if that wasn't enough to leave your adrenaline glands tingling, it's also peerless when it comes to ride quality. And if you hadn't have guessed yet, it's the big bro to the Nami Bernie 2, which I covered earlier in the video. Is dual 72 volt, 1,500 watt motors and 8,400 watt peak power output may not quite match the 10,080 watt hours of power that the Dualtron Thunder 2 can summon, but this is an altogether more refined beast with an acceleration rate that leaves its rivals choking on dust. 
This rocket can hit 15 miles per hour from a standstill in a mind melting 1.7 seconds. It'll go from 0 to 25 miles per hour in 3 seconds, which is faster than it takes most scooters to hit 15 miles per hour, and you'll be at 40 miles per hour in a preposterous 5.7 seconds. The Max simply doesn't let up. It'll reach its top speed of 60 miles per hour before you've even realized it. Alongside the powerful motors, this performance is all down to the 50 amp sine wave controllers that siphon energy from the humongous battery with dizzying efficiency. No other scooter can match it. The Max has rewritten the rule book on ultra performance models. It's the GTR of the scooter world, a model that has competitors scratching their heads in dismay, yet it manages to achieve immense power alongside supreme comfort. The same adjustable hydraulic coilover shocks that floored me on the Bernie 2 are in play here again, delivering a ride that's akin to a hot knife slicing through butter. Likewise, the tyres are once again perfect, though as with the Bernie 2, you'll need to purchase the PMT variants at an additional cost if you want to experience unrivaled traction at high speeds. It's also one of the most safety conscious scooters around. It's four piston Logan hydraulic brakes are revolutionary, delivering a barely believable stopping distance of 1.8 meters from 15 miles per hour. Truth be told though, I do struggle to recommend the Max over the Bernie 2. Sure, the Max is more powerful, but the acceleration is virtually the same up to 25 miles per hour, and elsewhere they're pretty much identical. Ultimately, it will come down to how much you want to spend and how fast you want to go. For those of you that want to see which of the electric scooters come out on top for speed, acceleration, mileage and braking, this section of the video is for you. Now I need to caveat that as to be expected, the most powerful scooters in this lineup dominate the rankings. Nevertheless, these comparisons should give you an idea of how specific models stack up against each other. First, we have the speed comparison. Here, the profoundly powerful Wolf King GT shares the top spot with the Daltron Thunder 2. The same chart-topping performance is seen in my acceleration test where the Wolf and Nami Bernie 2 fight for the top spot, but I've put the Nami first since its acceleration beyond 25 miles per hour is ever so slightly faster than the Wolf. When we compare maximum mileage, the Nami Bernie 2 Max continues its winning streak thanks to its ginormous 72 volt 40 amp hour battery, and the Bernie 2 manages to maintain its podium position with a real world range of 64 miles, but is closely followed by the Daltron Thunder 2. And finally, closing our comparisons is braking performance. Here, the two Nami models take the gold with an industry leading stopping distance of just 1.8 meters from 15 miles per hour. If you're still not sure which of the scooters featured in this video is right for you, then this next section should help. Earlier in the video, I mentioned that the Splash Titan is great for those on a budget, the Mantis King GT is ideal for those seeking adrenaline-filled rides, and the Wolf King GT is perfect if you want to push the boundaries of electric scooter performance. But now I'm going to share some other recommendations of the scooters that I would choose for different use cases, so things like the best model for bigger riders, off-roading, commuting, and so on. So to kick things off, my recommendation for those that are on the bigger side is the Mantis V. Two. For long range rides, it's the Nami Bernie 2. For off road adventures, I'll pick the Mantis King GT. If you're searching for a fast scooter that has some portability credentials or one that's primed for commuting, it's the Apollo Ghost. For climbing hills, all of the scooters featured are ideal, but if I had to pick one that was affordable and can easily scale steep inclines, it would be the Mantis V2. For those wanting an all weather scooter, any of the models will be fine, aside from the the Daltron Thunder 2 because it doesn't have an IP rating, but if I had to pick one, I'll go for the Splash Titan. If you want a scooter that you can attach a seat to, there's only one model with this capability and that's the Wolf King GT. And finally, for the best overall ride quality and most plush suspension system is the Nami Bernie 2. 
So there you have it, my list of the best electric scooters if you want to go fast. For more information about each scooter featured, check out the video description where you'll find discount codes, links to buy, and links to my video reviews. If you found value in this video, smash the like and hit the subscribe button to make sure that you don't miss out on any future uploads. That's all from me, see you in the next one.